I want to take us back to June 27th, 2022. 53 people were found dead in the back of a tractor trailer. 53 fathers, mothers, grandmothers, children as young as 13 years old, scorched to death in the scorching Texas heat. An absolute tragedy. Governor Abbott, the governor of my state on that day, June 27th, put out a public statement. His public statement did not include remorse. It did not include honoring the dead or prayers for the few that survived and were struggling in the hospital. His words, and I quote, were, these deaths are on Biden. Those words unmask a fundamental and disturbing truth about American politics today. The extreme right wing and those running for coward in chief do not care about solving our immigration challenges. Those bodies to them were not a human tragedy. They were an opportunity to go on Fox News and talk about the president. That's a horrifying truth that is critical for us to understand today. When I went to Reynosa just weeks ago and was standing in tents and in the dirt with mothers and children that had been turned away by Title 42, I, just like my colleagues and the vast majority of the American people, see a humanitarian crisis and a public policy challenge. But the extreme right wing see it as a political opportunity. When my community in San Antonio is trying to help people fleeing extreme violence and disaster, a Western hemispheric displacement crisis, when there's people sleeping on the streets of El Paso, we see a challenge to be solved. But we know that for the extreme right wing, it is an opportunity to tweet and to try to run for president. And so that brings us to this letter today and to our joint advocacy today. Because the expansion of Title 42 and the transit ban will not solve this humanitarian crisis. It, we are already getting reports from my community and other communities in Texas that it's resulting in fewer people coming through the orderly process of seeking asylum at the port of entry. But those folks that are fleeing disaster, that are spending night after night on the top of trains crossing hundreds or thousands of miles fleeing for their lives will now be forced to risk drowning in the river, to risk crossing the desert, or to get in the back of a tractor trailer. It will not solve the humanitarian crisis. This decision has been driven by the politics of the extreme right wing and their media allies. That's the fundamental truth. But this will not solve that political challenge either. Because as Governor Abbott so cravenly showed, whether you come alive or whether you are tragically dead, if there is a single immigrant searching for a better life in this country, those cowards will use it as a political opportunity and the political attacks simply will not stop. Whether people are presenting themselves at ports of entry, whether they're in El Paso or they're there in Laredo, whether they're coming and building a better life and making our state greater in places like San Antonio or Austin, if there is a single immigrant searching for a better life, the most cynical people searching for political power will continue their attacks. But there is a solution that people of conscience, Democrats and anybody across the aisle that wants to work with us can bring forward that would solve the humanitarian crisis and address the politics, which means finally fixing our broken immigration system. Representative Ocasio-Cortez and I have not been alive. We were born after the last time this Congress and the president came up with real solutions and real pathways to bring people here in an orderly, safe, and legal manner to continue to construct and support this amazing country. Because people like my grandmother, could come back and forth to safety to Texas and back to Mexico and back to Texas. We have members of Congress. We have doctors. We have teachers. We have a growing economy. We can solve this challenge, but we have to ignore the cynics and do the work of solving the humanitarian crisis and taking this political chip 
off the table. Amen. Thank you guys so very much. Amen.